man, that's a nice PS5 right there, man. I wonder who owns it. Oh, sh**, dude, it's Wave Mint, man. Number one, man. First place at GGP Chicago. What's going on, man? It's, it's going good, man. Um, yeah, I won today. It was a really tough field, a really large field. I think it's the biggest GGP in the, the continental United States. 69 so people crazy. showed up, man. Today I decided to play a deck I've been working on, a Chaos Relinquished. Yeah, dude. So. <laughs> Love me some Relinquished, man. Let's take a look at the deck. So, you got your Chaos Monsters, kind of the core of the deck. I think this deck enables the Chaos uh, Boss Monsters much better than Chaos Turbo, in fact. Just right. because this guy, um, Manju, Manju, the 10,000 hands. Um, he's a light, he's a normal, he instantly searches um, either the ritual spell or to relinquished. So off the nice. normal summon, you are instantly have a light on board, a dark in hand. Do you think this is like the golden ratio, three manjus, two uh, relinquished, one spell? Um, I think it's a very good ratio. You could also go like three manju, um, one senju, uh, three relinquish, one spell. Or even my buddy uh, Hector played three manju, one senju, and then just this ritual ratio. Because okay. you don't really want to be drawing these cards. Um, right. You want to be getting the plus one, for sure. Um, right. It's like a de decoichi that can't get knocked, is, is how I view that card. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, so this is also a very much a tempo deck. So you are kind of going for pressuring your opponent's life total um, as quickly as you can while denying them uh, resources, denying them uh, summons with the, the ritual engine. Mm -hmm. um, and part of that tempo plan is two Kaikus, just because they are an 1800 beater that stops um, chaos from the opponent. Um, chaos right. Sork on a uh, relinquish can be really rough, so just be proactive, um, bring in kaiku, uh, main deck to Kaikus. Um, yeah. Doing damage is great. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Gotta hit, get them beaters. Um, I'm playing two Magician of Faith, so it's kind of tricky because this deck is basically a new, immune to Nobleman of Crossout, except for the two Magician of Faith. So it's kind of like the Flip Warrior half in the, um, half in the falling victim to magician, uh, Nobleman of Crossout, half um, being immune to it. Um, basically banking on people, you know, either they keep in Nox and they're dead all game, or they side them out and I get to resolve Magician of Faith is the strat. Right. And it's just the best flip in the in the format. Um, yeah. Just being able to re recur Trinity, recur power spells is amazing. And even occasionally you can recur the, the Black Illusion ritual, since it's only a one of, um, you can, in corner case scenarios, get that back, um, summon a second roll vanquished. One Sinister Serpent, amazing. The biggest difference between this deck and the Zork deck is that um, paying uh, with a Sinister Serpent covers the full cost of the Relinquished, and then you're just going plus even harder. Um, speaking of going plus, three yes, Thunder Dragons. This dude. is, again, it's, it's very similar to the Manju engine. It's you know a card you play and instantly you have material in rotation. You, have, you go plus one. Um, your chaos engine is live, um, and it turns on. It's free fodder for the the ritual spell. It's free fodder for Phoenix Wing Wind Blast um, and other like power spells. Um, Break of the Magical Warrior. It's a staple um, in this kind of normal summon heavy deck. Um, Breaker is great. It's a dark. Beats in for 19. Can pop back row. Amazing. Sangan also amazing staple. Uh, the biggest Sangan search is Manju. Um, very rarely do you search anything other than Manju, just because Manju then can get you uh, even further pluses. Um, occasionally, if you already have a Manju in rotation, you can search Sukiyomi and start flipping the Manju to plus even more. So it's all about getting the benefits from the Manju, kind of all linking into that ecosystem, that, exactly. that engine. I think Manju is the best card in Go format that you're not playing. I agree, I agree, let's go. Uh, tribe Infecting Virus. Um, 
this is a staple because you do have so much free um, material in your hand uh, to pitch, and it opens up game shots, applies pressure. We love it. Um, this deck does kind of have trouble with uh, scapegoat decks, um, so Tribe is necessary to clear the, the goats out and go for game. Onto the spells. I believe it's 20 monsters. 20 monsters. 20 monsters. Makes sense with all the discard fodder and everything. Yes. Um, onto the spells. Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity, Delinquent Duo. Yo. Um, of course, everybody got to play the Trinity, but I think this is probably the best Trinity deck. Um, again, I think it's better than Classic Chaos Turbo. Um, your deck mm. is going to be thinner from the Manjus. Um, it's going to be thinner from the Thunder Dragons. Um, the Graceful Charity, um, now can you can pitch like an easy dark uh, if you search the Relinquished off the Manju. You can now you know, have a light in rotation, a dark in rotation, whereas just the Thunder Dragon, you have to either hope that you already resolved the flip effect monster and are able to bring back your Night Assailant or whatever. Right. Whereas this, you know... No context of the game needs to happen. This can all happen turn one. You can get um, get your pluses on turn one. Um, Chaos Turbo just can't do that the same way. Um, card Destruction. In a similar vein, Card Destruction is insane in this deck because you can just go for crazy uh, Chaos pushes. Your deck, your hand is full of like junk. It's full of two TDs, a Serpent, um, a Relinquished, and you just draw Card Destruction um, it doesn't matter if your opponent's on turbo. It doesn't matter what your opponent's on. You get four more draws deeper into your deck. Your deck's thinned. Your chaos is going to be alive. And several times I just played card destruction, hoping to draw into chaos monsters for game, and I did. Um, heavy storm, necessary staple. Yeah. Clear out back row. Snatch steel, um, great. Opens up game shots. Two noblemen across out, definitely a staple. Chaos Turbo is still a threat. Um, even with, there was a lot of uh, warrior in this tournament, there was a lot of Stein. There's a huge amount of Stein in this So tournament. much Stein, dude, it but, was crazy. <laughs> but still, even with that going on, you need to, to main the two. Um, two Book of Moon. Um, I am a certified Book of Moon enjoyer. Uh, yes. <laughs> people have pointed out my, my affinity for the book. In the previous GGP here, I top, um, I top forward with uh, three Book of Moon, um, ran it back at the last GGP in Illinois, triple Book of Moon. Um, I did have to cut it down to uh, only two Book of Moon, so sadly, but uh, still, amazing card, amazing with the Manju, um, being able to, if they try to snatch your Manju or whatever, ring your Manju, it's like um, you reset it, you can get that uh, plus one again, and... Book of Moon also clutch in like saving your chaos monsters from like ring or uh, snatch steel. Two upstart goblin, um, necessary just like regular chaos turbo. Just right. uh, get the engine running a little quicker. Uh, Mystical space typhoon. I think this card is more important in this deck than regular chaos turbo, just because you need to clear the back row whenever you're going for a big relinquish push, because your opponent can punish you very hard if they have a book of moon or a phoenix wing wind blast. So just being able to like blind MST whatever back row they have, and then make a push is, is huge. Three, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Um, yeah. Triple. Triple. Um, this is um, amazing interaction, enabled by the, the Manju engine, enabled by the, the Thunder Dragons, and being able to stack their monsters against the Chaos matchups is huge. Um, it really works with this deck's tempo plan of your opponent can't get any of their effects off. You can get all of your effects off while also dealing them damage. Um, one ring, staple. Yeah. Two trap does shoot. I didn't go the full three. I thought about it, but um, I think even against Chaos Turbo, um, the full three can be bricky, uh, especially on the if you're going second. Makes um, sense. But that's that's the main deck. Uh, six traps, 14 spells, 20 monsters. On to the nice. side deck. Let's um, keep it out. One Azura Priest, similar to the tribe infecting virus, you need a way to clear um, scapegoats and go for big uh, 
game pushes against GOAT control decks. Um, and I did in the top 16. Against Chaos Turbo, you bring in two Mind Control and Trap Dust Shoot. Oh, you side in third shoot. Yes, I had the third shoot on the side, so um, all good there. Um, especially good um, going first. Um, sometimes, especially like the if they're on a bunch of jars and solemn judgments, maybe you don't necessarily want the third um, shoot. But you almost always want the mind control. Um, even in like this newer variant of Chaos Turbo that um, plays like Spirit Reaper, you could still out that with the mind control at their Chaos Monsters. And then the rest of the side deck is just my Warrior package. This deck, um, game one against Warrior can be kind of hit or miss, so I bring in uh, full, I believe it's nine cards, eight cards, Ooh, against okay. Warrior, and to some extent there's uh, some overlap with like Panda Burn. Um, right. So Skilled Dark, um, a lot of people compare this guy to Zambira and think, Oh, skill dark is strictly worse than Zombira, right? 21 is greater than 19. Um, not necessarily. Um, it is a better monster against in the Warrior matchup. Uh, but at the same time, um, skill dark is almost just as good in the Warrior matchup. And it is massively better in the Panda Burn matchup because it's... Um, it, like, applies pressure, puts your opponent on a clock... Um, mm. Zombira just does not do anything against Panda Burn. Um, you need to end the game in that matchup. Um, and Skill Dark does that. Right. Um, I also cited in Jinzo, uh, Full Jinzo. Warriors. <laughs> and, and potentially Panda Burn. I didn't play against any Panda Burn decks, but I did play against three Warriors. And people have said it's a, maybe a tough matchup, matchup for this deck, and it is. I did go 3 0 against Warriors. Um, Three oh. off the back of cheating out a Jinzo with either a Call of the Haunted or using Brain Control also to mm. enable the Jinzo. Um, yes, just being able to shut down their back row interaction and just having a 2400 beater, um, especially um, at quick speed, um, like being able to chain the Call, bring back the Jinzo is huge. Um, and then I also bring in like a little more hard back row. Uh, I like with, this. Um, TT, Mirror Force, um, and two Sakuretsu armor. Just, uh, I like this heavy right here. This rules right here. Yeah, just being able to um, play a more like back and forth um, removal based game against uh, Warrior and to some extent like Panda Burn um, is, is huge. Um, so you just don't die. <laughs> so right, you don't right. Die. You don't lose. Um, I usually sideboard out uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast just because you have to go minus one in order to interact with them. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, stacking a beater just doesn't get you anywhere. Um, finally, I bring in one Dust Tornado um, for Warrior and also Panda Burn. Um, just being able to clear trade with their back rows is, is nice. Um, and finally, just one Mr. Walk. One walk. One um, walk, man. Never came up, never went to time. But uh, <laughs> it's there. It's, it is a paper tourney. That is a consideration. Yep, it's true. So that is the deck. Um, yeah. So what matchups were you? did you expect to come in? And did you feel like you seen everything you were thinking you were going to see coming into it? Yeah. Um, late last night, I was still, like, agonizing. Actually, even maybe while I was, like, doing my deck list, I still wasn't sure on the, the side deck. Um, and I ended up shaving one walk for a Dust Tornado, just because mm. it, it does the double duty of Warrior and Panda. Um, I was fretting, um, facing Warrior, um, and I ex expected to you know, kind of be 50-50 on that matchup. I was really excited to face Turbo. Um, ironically, I did, the only matches I lost today were against Turbo, and I was 3-0 against Warrior, so, you know. Just how we drew it up. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Hey, man. Do you have any uh, quick shout outs? Um, shout out to, um, let's see, Casper, um, my buddy. Uh, he really helped me test this deck. Um, also, Hector, um, also known as HT19. Um, we worked together on like a different version of the deck that he played and also top 16 with. 
Um, everybody at Quality, um, my local store, um, love them all. And finally, all of my online War League team, um, the worst gen. Um, yeah, we're killing it this, this season. We're killing it in paper. Hell yeah.